Okay, I want to unlock a thing for divination. So I ironically had like everything already established except for some components. So I disassembled some more random stuff I had. So I already had this stuff from doing archaeology, so that's good. So I have this, which is a uh, golem framework. So now what I have to do is I have to go to a Gethixian cache. They happen every hour. So I don't know if one's going on right now, but let me teleport to here. One will be starting in a minute. So that's actually really good. Uh, perfect timing by accident. And then I have to go into a get fixing cache with the going for my backpack, enter a new cache or search for an hour. While inside the cache, pick up a large memory and transfer option to create access framework on the mysterious model. Okay, cool. So then, yeah, so we're almost there. So I just have to wait for the next cache, which will be in a minute. So let me wait uh, just one second and give me like less than 60 seconds and I'll catch you guys there. Okay, I was typing to people and the cache went up. So I just need to get a large, was it a large, um, b -b -b large memory. So I need to get a large, large, boom, retrieve. So retrieve a large memory. And then I believe I just go and use, oh, both my hands would be free, sorry. Take this and then transfer personality. Boom, and now I have this cool, sweet. So now I'm gonna teleport back to the archaeology place. And I believe if I use this on the monolith, okay, I'm using this on the monolith, and now I should get yes, divine conversion. When converting memories, you'll convert your entire backpack in one go. I want to show this off, so let me get rid of something. I guess I'll get rid of Okay, so the way it works is pretty simple. I really won't take advantage of this until I get to the 95 plus bracket because up to 95, I want to be doing the um, other method of leveling, uh, which is, I, I don't I don't forget what it's called, but memories or whatever. I don't I don't know, not good things in caches, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But anyway, so what this does is it'll go and it can go and when you, transfer your memories and convert them it converts them all so to show example in your inventory so you saw i have all these right here i have about 12 i can go and do this then it does them all at once this is really good xp because you get the same amount of xp etc that you normally would and it just converts it all at once and allows you to spend more time just getting xp this does make doing regular caches like this for xp decent right they're actually decent xp they really are so i could do this for xp if i really wanted to um and i'm tempted to but i'm not necessarily going to i don't think i've ever really mentioned but i really love having 99 crafting i don't really think i've ever expressed how happy i am i bothered to grind this out it's so nice because if I ever want to make an urn for anything, I don't have to boost anymore. I just have the ability to do it, and it's super awesome. Before, when I used to make these urns, I would have to go, and I'm going to lower my mic. I think it's super loud. Um, I used to have to go and boost, and while I was boosting, I'd like run, log out like every once in a while and make sure I keep my boost. And It was, it was a super annoying process, but now I don't have to do that. I can just... I have 99 crafting. I can just make it and then I can turn them into urns, which is great. So I'm making divination urns. If it's not obvious, I'm going to work on divination next. I don't know if I'm going to get to 99, but it's the next thing I'm working on. And I did make a community post this like earlier, like a, I think like an hour or two ago saying how I'm super nervous about starting Hunter because I don't know what to do for Hunter. I'll be completely honest. I really wish there was a super AFK method, method to do Hunter, but Hunter has always been a fairly click intensive skill it's part of the reason i never really bothered to get up too high so i'm a little nervous about that but we'll see i'm gonna look more into it it'll probably be one of my later skills but i'll probably start knocking out levels uh here and there i know this might get like shamed but i really dislike this leveling like hall of memories whatever this is called for leveling divination it's never been my favorite i actually really dislike it i'll be honest but i will say it is significantly faster so it is what i'm doing once i get 95 though i can do the other method which is the traditional method where you just sit at a uh, a thing and then throw it in and supposedly you can get like 200k an hour doing that so that's what i'm doing there i am going for 99 divination next i figure that should be my next one it is not so afk right now but once I'm able to do the next method, it is AFK. And plus, if I really wanted to, I can do it AFK. So small update and a of on everything. 
I have now, I'm almost halfway done with 94 95, which is good because once I'm 95, like I said, I can start doing the AFK method where you just AFK at the actual spawn. And apparently a bunch of people do it and it's like good XP, supposedly. I don't know how true that is, but that's just what I'm told. Um, so we'll do that. And that's the end of the game plan. After that, I'm going to go and start working on two things. I know I've said this a lot, but I actually mean it this time. I'm going to start working on finishing my bow. I'm going to try to get that last piece. It kind of sucks just how dry I've been on it, but it is what it is. You know, it, I don't want to say dry because I don't know if I'm necessarily dry, but like it just sucks that I haven't gotten the last piece and I just want it already. <laughs> so... We'll go and try to finish that off, and whilst working on that, I will go and start doing the uh, accidental fletching and fire making and stuff like that to then try to go and get my um, arrows acquired because Din arrows are going to be the arrows I'll use with my bow. Even that tier 90, apparently they're still better than using anything else. I'll probably use like Arach the Arachnus arrows for like just general whatever, like something super easy. But anything that I'm taking somewhat seriously, um, you know, I'll probably use the Din arrows. Plus Din arrows, I would say, are seem to be, in my opinion, a lot easier to acquire. And you don't burn through them as fast when you're not using the best bow. When you're using the best bow, I don't know what it's called. I, I don't call the bow from Zamorak. Uh, bow the Last Guardian, I think is what it's called. Um, apparently, like, you burn through arrows like it's nothing. But without that, I think it's fine. So, we'll see. Anyways, that's the game plan. And, yeah, let me go and finish this level. <laughs> I think I did just enough. Yep, level 95 divination. Finally achieved. Okay, so I'm here. It is southeast of Castle Wars. Come over here. So there you go. Just southeast of Castle Wars. See, there's already someone here. So what you do uh, is you basically just go and you suck. You, you, you suck the balls uh, for a little bit until you get a full inventory. And then you just go and throw them in here. Now, so I found out why you want to go in the community world. It's for these enriched ones. I just started doing it and I put on my XP tracker and I was like, huh, how come it's, you know, how come it's, uh, there you go. I was like, how come it's, uh, so, so much lower than what I'm being told. And then I found out after a very quick reading on the wiki that you're supposed to be on the enriched world in order to get that XP. So without being on the, uh, community world, you are most only getting like, I would say around a hundred in do 150k xp per hour i didn't stay there very long but i want to see how much xp per hour i can get now on this enriched world the big difference between enriched and regular is you get more enriched uh energies when you're doing this so you get more a lot more xp because these go for uh, a butt ton extra xp so there you go so that's that's the logic there um let me go and finish it and then convert all these and i'll just show you an xp drop just so you guys can see getting like yeah yeah that's like an insane amount more so there you go so that's the reason you're on this community world because there's basically a constant uh enriched fountain for the most part and with this we have i slapped my microphone 99 herb lore in the bag oh my god this totally took so much effort holy crap instantly clean all ground members oh that's fancy. Anyways, let me go and get the skill cape for this bad boy. I believe it is here. I could be wrong. I believe this bad boy has it. Yes, uh, I believe you can. Let me skill cape Herbalord. Uh, I think I have the money right here. Oh my god. Boom, we got it. All right, cool. Let's check this bad boy out. All right, so we got dong dong. Oh, I got to change the thingy. Stations clear clear why how it look it looks okay what's the uh emote emote is just making herbs nice okay there and then let's go and obviously make a hooded variant and then boom nice i i dig it i dig it pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool uh, yeah, that's 99 Herbler. Now to go work on other stuff. I'm going to go back to... I've been playing a lot of other games, so I'm taking a break from the other games. So while I'm watching shows and stuff, I think I'm going to go and continue working on Divination. Um, but I want to go and do the farming stuff I have saved up to do.
I don't know if I'm just an idiot or if this has always been a thing, but I just realized there's a fucking calendar in this game. And it's awesome. I love this shit. I love this in World of Warcraft. Like, World of Warcraft has calendars similar to this. And I loved it, and I love it in this, because it tells you the events. Um, and you can even go into the future and kind of see, okay, boom, this is going to be a thing. You can even see when new content comes out. New Hard Dungeon, Monday the 15th. Like, it's just, oh my god, I really like this. I genuinely really, really like this. Like, it's just a, such a good way to see content coming out in the future, content that's already out, etc. Just at your fingertips. I really do like this. I think it's such a great thing. I'm sure it's been in the game for a while and I just missed it. Maybe it got added. I don't know. But I just, I really like it. It's super awesome. Get ready for it. Are you guys ready? Because I don't think you are. 99 Divination. Let's fucking go. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually super happy to have this done. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's, it's super nice to have done. I'm really happy. Anyways, I need to figure out where to get the game. Hold on. You know what I always find funny? Divination is one of the skills that I saw come out. Um, it's one of the few skills I saw come out. I saw, I started playing the game when Hunter came out. I remember the day Hunter released. I saw, I saw when Summoning came out and then... Dungeoneering, I wasn't really around for when it came out. Like, I was there, but I didn't really play it, if you know what I mean. If that makes sense, right? I didn't really take advantage of Dungeoneering. It wasn't until later. But this was the skill where... I remember when Divination came out, I had a bunch of friends who were still playing RuneScape, and I really wasn't. And, um... And, yeah, I remember them all, play, you know, grinding for that 99, and I was like... I felt left out because it was like the only one where like I wasn't really involved in, even though I was kind of playing when it came out. Anyways, let's check this cape out. Um, oh, I got to turn things off. Okay. This is with hood, uh, increases duration of divination brings by 30 seconds. Okay, cool. Emote. <laughs> Wee. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Okay. Use that on that. Get ourselves the hooded version. Looks nice. Enjoyable. All right, I'm going to go put this in my bank. I don't think I'm ever going to use this. I mean, I probably will, but realistically, no. oh, I can get rid of this entire set now. Oh, you, you still need it for when you're going to get a, when you want to get 120 and 200 mil and stuff like that. Yeah, sure, dude. Why not, bro? Sure, why not? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to go back to doing this. I don't actually remember uh, what to do, though. I don't remember if I was supposed to do something special or specific. I'm just going to go and get an inventory of these eggs. If I remember correctly, apparently when I looked into this a long time ago, it's been changed and it's actually way better now. So we're going to go check this out. Supposedly, all you have to do is... Oh, I need to talk to Bill. Bill, Bill. Okay, so I did a little bit of looking into it and it looks like I'm wrong. Looks like you have to go and feed them, all of them, yes. And then they give you a different fertilizer. So it looks like you can do one and then squeeze them, but that was giving me 99, uh, fertilizer uh, blend number 99. This is giving me number 102. Um, and I believe if we do this, we'll get more. Yes, oh my God, we're getting uh, like four times the XP, four to five times the XP. Yeah, that is much better. Yeah, that is, I would say, a little over four times the XP. This is House of Parliament completed. I did this for the Uncut Moonstone. I'm actually working on getting the, uh, what's it called, the diary or achievement tasks done, whatever they're called. Hold on, let me come here and I'll show you. The area task for... Underworld, here we go, boom. I'm working on the hard ones. And I was correct. You did all you had to do was uh, just talk to the dude with the moonstone in your inventory, and then he'll give it to you. So, yay! Um, can I just disassemble these instead of having to? Yeah. All right. So I gotta think about what I want to do. I actually have the necklace pulled up. So the necklace gives forty four point one uh, damage bonus. I'm gonna evaluate and see compared to what my best stuff gives me. So that's forty four point one. I believe it's non degradable as well. So there's that perk. So that's thirty six. So that's an extra five at uh, five. 
basically I get an extra five damage, but I don't get a prayer bonus, which is whatever. But five bonus on my necklace. Top of it being non-degradable, which is a perk. I do have to keep that in mind. Versus underworld. Uh, I want to see this. Because I mean I'm gonna make a strategic decision here. Most likely getting the hard diary done is gonna be better. I'm gonna say that now. So that's ten, so that's five. So really I'm losing one point of bonus damage. Um well actually more than that. Holy shit, I'm bad at math. That's forty four, eight so that's eight points of damage I get. Yeah, eight points. So I'm losing three points of damage, but I gain the perks of the three which is I can drop bones, go to my storage, which is whatever. Um, I don't actually know what the point would be. I'm going to be completely honest because I don't really need a lot of this stuff. Let me see here. What's the main perk? So it goes up the dragon boat, which is great. 10%. That's normal. 7.5, whatever. 10% uh, chance. Simple your essence. Their total experience. 9% uh, total experience, then 10% extra bone express. Uh, so I get more. I mean, really, I guess the only big thing is I get tele uh, unlimited teleports to the ritual site. That's the main thing I get from it. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to do I might make the necklace instead, to be honest. Okay, so I got the necklace. Now I just need to go and use level five on it and boom we got ourselves a conjurer's raising amulet the only thing is increases attack damage of your conjured spirit by percent so it's, it actually is way better for me to get this instead i'll be completely honest so that's good um so i'm gonna go throw this into here move this into my necklace tab it's well this took not that long i'll be completely honest but this is 99 fire making in the bag Baby, quite happy about that. Let's go. Now I need to find out where I get the cape. I know where to get in old school. I don't know where to get it in RuneScape 3, so I got to look into that. Anyways, that was not your Discord. That was mine. Well, it is actually in the same spot as in old school RuneScape, so that's good. And I just want to show you guys, this is the total amount of stuff I acquired from getting 99 fire making. Um, obviously, these shafts are not entirely from fire making and i am going to get more but i got 127,000 shell uh shards so arrow tips and 121,000 of the like the flights so you know, like the arrows so yeah so not not bad uh let's i already got this old screwscape a lot obviously uh let's go and do the emote I've seen this a million times, but you know, might as well. I actually really like this cape. I'll be honest from an aesthetic. It actually looks kind of cool. Uh, I do like it. Uh, this is it with the hood on and there you go. So now I can go and if I bother to get the, the level uh, 95 fletching, I can actually go and start making din arrows, which are tier 90 arrows. So that's the next goal. I think I'm going to work on fletching next. I feel like that's good. It's AFK and it is a useful 99 because it'll let me make the uh you know the the arrows so that's what i'm gonna work on next i'll catch you guys when i'm done or at a milestone or something